welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going to be for Gemini, Gemini, stay alive, stay alive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gemini, Gemini. All right, let's see. Clear the board. Gemini, week three, June, June 2021. Gemini. Oh, I almost got mixed emotions. Queen of Cups reversed. I'm putting it up right there. So yeah, I would say mixed emotions for sure. Six of Swords. Eight of Cups. King of Cups. The Death card. I mean, yeah, it's like this is all reversed. I normally wouldn't do this. Something's telling me to do it. The only thing that's upright is a six right now. This is somebody who wants you back, wants to be back in your arms, wants to talk to you. There's like a, this energy is not accepting that something's over. A lie came out about something. Because you have the seven of swords reversed. You have the knight of cups and the king of cups. I don't know if it's like two peas in the pod, pod type scenario, or if it's like a court couple. <sighs> This is a feminine or a straight up masculine that wants to be back in your arms. They're either going to expose something to you or you're exposing to them or they're exposing to somebody else. Someone's going through an ascension. Queen of Cups, Six of Wands, Eight of Cups, King of Cups, Death Card, Seven of Swords. There was there was lies everywhere with something. I don't know if you met your match, but somebody's like, damn. I think it's it's the masculine or the feminine not accepting. I, I think it's the masculine here. Yeah, five of cups, they're upset the way something went down. They're not accepting that it's over. Lack of confidence right now. Looks like the confidence is going to come in. Somebody wants to move forward after lies were exposed. Queen of cups is the nine of sword reverse. You're not even sweating it. Sounds like you. <laughs> You're not even sweating it. Six of swords, huh? Seven of wands reverse. So this is ooh, someone taking their guard down, being vulnerable. This is... No, I feel like somebody wasn't vulnerable. And you're like, see ya. Because this is somebody who wasn't. There was no vulnerability. They weren't sharing with you. They weren't doing something. And now somebody wants to come back around. See, you would be sweating it, though, if the Queen of Cups was reversed. What was the first words I used? Shit. How to do with your emotions. I think you're both upset about a situation, but the woman doesn't seem to be sweating. And I don't even, sweating it, I don't even use that terminology. Someone regrets how something went down. It's just a possible outcome here. A new person enters your life or a relationship begins a new phase. Could be an apology too, because you got the page of it's the page of water, page of cups. Yeah, see, somebody's not accepting that it's over. Someone had lack of confidence, didn't know how to speak their mind, didn't want to be vulnerable, didn't want to move forward. But it looks like you're both gonna be emotional this week. Regarding what, please? Regarding what? A 
message, page of fire, a news of an exciting endeavor. So there's some type of message coming your way that's it's gonna make you both emotional. Because the possible outcome is a new person's entering your life or there's a new relationship going to heighten a new phase. Six of A, I asked why the death card was reversed because this is somebody not accepting that something's over. And six of A, things are looking up the end of a difficult situation. So learning from something, somebody wants to move forward. Yeah, somebody like does not want to let you go here. It's like they want to win, but not in a bad, manipulative way. Just, you know, yeah, life experience. You guys definitely went through something together here. Significant life event, a powerful revolution that leads to change with the chariot. Time to spread your wings. Like something's going down. And you got 777 here. I didn't even pick up on that until right now. So something got exposed to someone or it's about to be exposed to you. 777. Spiritual meaning of 777. Good fortune, prosperity, it's time to embrace things. On a spiritual sense, it's wisdom, it's hard work, something that's going to pay off. Expansion of your soul's consciousness. So it's ultimate happiness. It's evolving. Wow. So something that was a complete shit show is going to end up being absolutely beautiful. Gemini got the swan could be mirroring somebody right now this water is, is emotional I get so emotional baby every time I think of you I don't know something like that <clears throat> Effortless, creativity, sensitive, majestic, elegant power. The swan represents a heightened creativity in Hindu mythology. The goddess, the a body of language, creativity, and artistry, rides the back of the graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there. It is the fluid of the realm of the writing, creativity, and reflecting. This potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or lightly. When the swan card, when the swan card appears, your soul is calling for attention. For solo time, the inner voice is awaiting to be heard, an inner vision likely to be revealed. When you're in balance, you're, you're infinite creative power. When you're out of balance, you're agitate, agitated, snippy, lacking vision to bring into balance solo time in writing. So really think about this. You, I mean, There's nothing here saying to like go within, so I don't know if somebody already did or you're going to need to. Because to me, it's like somebody already walks away, blocked, stopped talking. This energy is not accepting it. Like, they're coming back for you. Whatever this is, if it's someone from your deep past, the current past, like, it's... It's like they got a lot of regret. You're not really sweating it again. <clears throat> someone needs to talk here. But, like, there's a new opportunity. Exciting news. So you're either about to meet somebody that just blows your mind or this is like a resurfacing of something or this is something that's going to, it's just like a new phase with someone. That song just can't tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. What's that, Backstreet Boys? I don't even know that song. I just said, why is a swan here? Awakening. Look at things from a different perspective. It's just a temporary standstill. So it's asking you to really go within. It's 
ton of earth, very happy life, financial security, making magic with the little things of life, comfort. It's a possible outcome, brilliant news, ideas, inspiration, seeing the truth in a situation. It is a challenging new beginning, but it is a beginning. Wow. Alrighty, Schneides. Awesome read. I will see you over on Patreon. Have a kick-ass week.